there. Who are you? I'm Jim True. I'm Vice President of Product Management at Cabinet. Well, Jim, what is Cabinet? Cabinet is a document management software company. Uh, we offer uh, document management solutions that are locally installed or uh, web-based, uh, hosted. So um, whatever environment the uh, particular customer is most comfortable with, uh, we have a solution for them. So you help businesses implement a paperless office, right? Exactly. We, we improve their efficiency, we help them eliminate paper, and we just make their job a whole lot easier. Very cool. Now one of the benefits of a paperless office is the ability to be mobile, and I understand you now have a new iPad app for paper or for, for Cabinet. Exactly. Uh, Cabinet Mobile is an uh, application that's an extension of the uh, core document management system and it allows people to go out and about and, and bring the information with them, access the information very quickly from their iPads and be able to interact with their customers uh, where their customers are. Great Jim, so can you show me how the iPad app works? Absolutely. Um, I have it backed up to the original screen that a user would see when they first download the uh, app from the uh, App Store. And uh, all we need them to do is let us know if they're a cabinet safe cloud user or if they're a cabinet safe user. And the difference there is the cloud user is their documents are hosted in the cloud as part of our service. And the cabinet safe user, the documents are stored locally on their server. Okay. So they click one of those two and we get some information to them about what they need to know to enter their connection settings. There's two connection settings. One of them is the server URL, and one of them is the customer code. Uh, that information is provided uh, to them. They enter that in, and then they hit connect. Uh, we have a login screen, and since this is an extension of the Cabinet Safe document management system, all the uh, uh, login criteria that they are currently using is the same for the iPad. So they go out of the office, they take their iPad, they log in just the same as they would um, uh, when they're in the office. Very good. The other thing that we allow them to do is, uh, as another layer of security, if they want to have the Remember Me turned on or turned off, what that's going to do is when they log out, it'll clear all this information if it's off. If it's on, it'll keep it in there to where all they have to do is hit one button and they log into the, uh, mm -hmm. into the app. Uh, when they first come into the system, it's going to bring them into the Settings tab. And we have four other tabs that I'm going to be going over, but let me cover the Settings tab first of all. Um, up at the top is just some general account information. You know, here's the information that they entered about the server and the uh, customer code. Uh, we're also going to say what the version of the application is because that's always uh, handy to know. We also give them the ability to have a quick start manual or frequently asked questions. And it's basically a document that, that comes right on the device so that they can look up information uh, if, if they uh, have any questions of using the device. Oh, very cool. We've tried to make it as intuitive as possible. Anybody who's familiar with using an iPad, we use all the common gestures that they're already familiar with so that they can go from whatever app they're using and then start using document management uh, off of the uh, iPad. Very cool. But if they ever get into a, a jam and they, and they want to reach out to us, we make it very easy. We have a, a, a button here where they click and it takes them right to our support website. Or, if they want to send us an email, it'll automatically generate a trouble ticket. They can put the information about their question, and it gives us the information we need to uh, better assist them. So it's a nice, easy way for them to quickly reach out to us and uh, uh, have any concerns uh, addressed. Mm -hmm. So that's the uh, settings. That's also where you would log out of the application. All right. Um, a lot of people don't log out, they'll just keep it logged in, and that's just one of the traditional ways of using an iPad is you open it up and you're already there. So, But uh, if they want to log out for security reasons, they can certainly do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Cabinet tab. We have four other tabs, Cabinet, Search, Favorites, and Checked Out. Um, people are going to spend most of their time in, a, in the Cabinets tab. Now, keep in mind, um, the, uh, 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 the Cabinet Mobile is an extension of what they're already using in their document management system. Right, right. So any user of our system is going to be familiar with the way we have things organized. Because it's the same layout that they'll see on their desktop machine. Exactly, exactly. So we organize things into repositories and cabinets and folders. So whatever uh, cabinets they have access to, and we work across industries, so whatever industry you're in, you can probably create a cabinet that, that works very well for you. 
Uh, I'm going to be talking about human resources because that seems to be a good example that everyone can kind of relate to. So if I want to know about the human resources cabinet, I click the blue button and it tells me a little bit of information about it, when it was created, when it was um, uh, modified, um, what repository it's in. But usually what you want to do is you want to drill down into that cabinet. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, you're going to get a list of folders. And as you drill through the system, we're going to be giving you breadcrumbs of exactly where you are. So in this example, I've got a folder here and it's called, uh, you know, Joe Sample Employee. Mm -hmm. And I want to have information about Joe Sample Employee. And that's where our uh, indexing capability comes into play. These are the same indexes that are used in the uh, core document management system. They're brought over into the iPad and it allows me to get some information about uh, uh, Joe Sample Employee. Cool. Okay. I can also have some information about the folder, you know, when it was created, what cabinet it's in, and that other uh, uh, metadata. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can also have notes and I can even flag it as if, if it's something that requires special attention for here. As an example, you know, special medical needs, it might be good to know that this person's allergic to peanuts. Okay. Okay. So this information is available to you without even actually going into the folder. Um, other things I can do is I can mark a folder as my favorite. As you can see, this one has a little star on it. Mm -hmm. uh, that means that uh, at some point I press the star over on the right hand side and marked it as a favorite. And that's going to tie back into one of our other tabs that I'll talk about in a, uh, a little bit, but that's what the uh, uh, green arrow is. So if I want to look at the contents of a folder, um, I simply select the folder and it drills down and gives me a listing of all the documents that are in that folder. Nice. I can narrow things down, um, like for example, let's see, let's see if I have any uh, uh, application. Whoops. Oh, I got everything filed under application. All right. <laughs> Let me back up to Joe Sample here. Here I have some uh, timesheets and expense reports that are kind of intermixed, but um, I have a uh, tab here for expense reports. So now I just, I'm just showing my expense uh, So it narrowed down the results that it's showing. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, I have two ways of viewing it. I can view the actual document or I can view information about the document. Okay. Uh, when it was created and, and that type of thing. Uh, something that I like, and I'll just go real quickly through this example here, is uh, this is something that an employee would probably uh, uh, fill out periodically. And um, it's their weekly expense report. And um, if I wanted to fill in this document. All I have to do is click the edit button, tell the application what I want to use to edit that document, um, you know, make my edits. And, uh, you know, this is just a, a standard um, uh, Acrobat or, you know, PDF type of form that has some fields built into it. Right. And uh, since I'm an employee, if I want to sign it, I can just, you know, put my signature on there. Whoa, nice. Okay. And then, um, Let's say my supervisor, when they get it, if they want to sign it, you know, they, they, they or, or maybe your uh, company is doing something where you have, you know, field service and you want to pick up a, whoops, I tapped it, uh, a customer signature and you want to pick it up right in the field, you can pick that up and it gives that uh, image right on the uh, document. Oh, nice. Now, what I want to do is, is technically I've taken this document, I've checked it out of cabinet. Right. And I put it into uh, a third party application, made my edits, collected my signatures. Now I want to file it back into a uh, cabinet. Um, we've already uh, taken that care of that for you to where all I have to do is reverse the process, do an open in, tell it that I want to open it up in cabinet and it'll check that document back in. So there's that document. Oh wow, so you, it's more than just read only of documents that are stored in cabinet. You can actually edit it and add things to it. Yes, yes, you can edit uh, documents, add signatures to uh, documents. Um, which any business that's in a customer service type of thing where people are working outside of the office, it's ideal for them uh, as opposed to having to sign papers, bring them back, scanning them into the system and, you know, worry about that. Here it's already filed for you. You're collecting the information and it's instantly available to everyone else back at the office so they can actually start processing an invoice before you get back from the, uh, the uh, service trip. Or that, that's fantastic. Okay. Uh, other things I can do with a document, I can mark a document as a favorite as well as a folder. I can delete documents and that enforces our access rights. So if someone doesn't have delete rights to a document, that wouldn't function for them. Right. Okay. They have okay. to have delete rights. So we, the button's there, but they have to be able to have that rights. I talked about editing a document. I can also um, 
uh, email things out or I can open them in. So let's say I'm going on a, a, a flight somewhere, I want to be able to access documents offline. I can uh, use the open in, it'll put it on my iPad and I can uh, access it at a uh, later date. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing I want to talk about is the search button. Uh, we've combined the way that you can search for documents and I can search for folders, document titles, or text. So let me start with a uh, folder search and I'm going to type in here test. Okay, I did a search and you can see I found some folders and each of these folders have test as one of the indexes. So here you can see under name it says test. Yep. If I go to this particular folder you can see here that the contact date has the word test. Okay. And these were just put in there just as an example of, of being able to locate information that are part of the folder indexes. Mm -hmm. So I've searched for my uh, folder indexes. Um, now I want to search for a document title that has the uh, uh, test and I can do a search. And here's the documents that um, um, contain the word test in the title. Okay. Okay. If I go back and I do full text, oops, I want to search. Now I have a list of documents that have the word test in them somewhere. Oh, so it's looking inside the contents of the document. Exactly. It's doing a full text search of the uh, information and it'll highlight where it found the word test. So you get this hits button that can uh, focus yes. in on the match. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I can view the document, I can look at information about mm -hmm. the document, and I can look at where it found the hit within the document. Okay. The other thing I can do is I can do all these simultaneously. So if I turn them all on, right. uh, I'm going to show that the title searches first. Scroll through. Right. You got a lot of results. Okay. Then my, my folders and then my full text search okay. results. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Uh, the thing, one thing that I like about being able to do this is I have this document open. And this document happens to be, if I look at my breadcrumbs, in the Human Resources Cabinet, uh, Doe is the name of the uh, folder, mm -hmm. and, and there's the name of the document. Yep. But I can also come over here in the cabinets, and I have another document open. Oh, so you can switch back and forth between them. Exactly. So I, it, it, it has the effect of having two documents open at once. I can actually, if I, if I want to go one level further, I have my Favorites button. I talked a little bit about how I can mark documents or folders as a favorite. That's and right. To do that, I simply just come over here and whatever document I'm on, when I hit the star, it gets marked as a favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now when I go under my favorites tab, it's going to list all of those favorites that I have, regardless of where in the system they are. So they might be from different cabinets, they might mm -hmm. be from different repositories. Everything is consolidated into my favorites. And what that's nice for is I'm able to, you know, mark everything as favorites. And when I go in the field, I don't have to go looking up the documents. They're all there. I don't have to go looking up the folders. It's uh, available to me. Yeah, it's like um, making your own shortcuts to everything you need. Precisely. So if I wanted to, um, um, you know, open up another document and put it in the, you know, I can go, I can flip between view and information. Now I technically have three documents open at once. Yeah, look at that. Yep. Okay. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is we have the ability of checking things out. Technically what happens is when you edit a document, it checks it out. That prevents other people on the system mm -hmm. from editing the document because you don't want simultaneous edits on a document. Right. Um, uh, what this allows you to do is undo a checkout uh, if you uh, had it um, uh, checked out so that other people would have access to that document. Mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much it. It's a very simple application to use. Let's say I was in the field and I wanted someone to, to take a look at this. I can also uh, expand it and make it full screen. And we support, you know, being able to uh, uh, zoom in. So anything that people are familiar with using the iPad, they're going to find it very straightforward in extending their use of cabinet document management software into the field using the Cabinet Mobile iPad application. Excellent, Jim. So where can viewers get more information about Cabinet and the Cabinet iPad app? Uh, I would recommend visiting our website at www.cabinetpaperless.com um, or call the 800 number 800-621-6501. Excellent, Jim. Thank you for taking the time to walk me through the new iPad app for Cabinet. Thank you.